Good evening, I'm Alex Eady. Holocaust survivor and the founder of the Candles Holocaust Museum in Terre Haute, Eva Kor, died at 85 today. A statement from the museum says she was in Poland on the museum's annual trip. As a survivor, Eva was known for spreading messages of healing and forgiveness. In 2017, she received the Sachem Award from Governor Eric Holcomb, the state's highest honor. The Brown County Music Center is on track to be completed in August. Project officials hope the Music Center will provide more stability to Brown County's tourism-based economy. This is the first time that Brown County has had an opportunity to uh, actually get infrastructure monies from tourism. Three quarters of the center's profits will go toward the Brown County Community Foundation. The rest will go to Brown County's general fund. Schultz says they are now focusing on fine-tuning the technical aspects of the new venue. The Music Center's first event is slated for August 24th. And residents line the streets of downtown Bloomington early this morning for the annual 4th of July parade. The event was put on by Bloomington's Parks and Recreation Department. 100 organizations, groups, and local businesses participated, showing off their patriotic spirit and their love for the city of Bloomington. This year's procession was led by the Bloomington Board of Realtors, American Legion Post 18, and Coca-Cola. Let's look at tonight's forecast. A low of 71 degrees tonight and a 30% chance of showers. Then looking ahead, 88 and a 60% chance of storms tomorrow and Saturday. Then 85 degrees going into Sunday, 84 degrees and mostly clear on Monday. For more local news, go to WTIUNews.org and catch Indiana News Desk Fridays at 6.